Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God the glory. Let God be magnified forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. I just pray that God will give us understanding in this world. We will not just speak it, but we will have wisdom in it, you know. When I hear this word, I'm like, God, help this person so that he or she does not take an offense through your word. Because whom the Lord loves, he chastises. Whom the Lord loves, he corrects. Hallelujah. God brought, this, brought you across this message because he has been trying to get your attention. But because sometimes we are too busy, we don't even hear when God is speaking. So he had to speak in a way that we must hear. And we must understand because he loves us so much. He don't want us to go astray. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. God had me to warn somebody. He said, don't settle. You know, some people will settle out of God's will. They will settle because they are like, ah, maybe God have taken too long. Oh, maybe God did not want to settle me. I am just going to pick anything or pick anybody or pick any choice. I will just settle. I will just settle. When trouble comes, we are like, oh, uh, let's just pray that God will cancel or God will change what I have chosen. What about the damages? What about the damages? Even when Saul repented, the damages he have caused, he could not change it. That damages he lived with him, that conscience, the conscience deal with him for what he has done. By killing and slaughtering the people of God. So no matter how anyone that have that, that that have taken a decision that is that is out of God's will, that person will live with that conscience. Even when the person have repented, the person have let go of the past. Whenever the person is talking, will remember this is how I did this. It will not become a memory. And most of this memory are memory that are hurtful. Not that they dwell in that anymore because God has forgiven and he has let go. But it is something that sometimes when they remember because memory are always there. Let it be good, let it be bad. But what matters is that not align the memory to hold us down. We know the story of Paul. Of so after he turned to Paul, after he became that one that God started using. We know how everything went for him. You know, if you study the Bible, you will understand. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Child of God, this is a warning. Don't settle at, outside of God's will. Don't settle outside of God's will. God has a plan for you. He has a plan for you. Oh, when is God going to give me a man to marry? When is God going to give me a woman to marry? When is God going to give me this business? Since God is not giving me now, let me just go and choose. No. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. It is a warning because God always sent his word ahead. There is disaster ahead. If he's warning us, it means there is a disaster ahead. You understand? This reminds me of somebody I was praying for. <clears throat> I think a year or two years ago. So I was praying for this woman and... This woman was, she had children, but she wasn't married, you understand? So, I had this compassion, I was praying for her, but suddenly, she sent me a message that she saw somebody on Facebook that wants to marry her. I said, okay, let me see the profile. She sent the profile, and the moment I saw the profile, that is the only, only one picture on the Facebook page. And the person said, the mother is this. I told this I told this woman, this man is a scammer. This is not the person you are. My spirit is telling me that this man is a no. She's like, ah, because the man has very, is it pack? I don't know. These huge people, very tall. And as in, I said, wow. He said, he have already sent money. She have done this. The man said he had problem with his sheep. The sheep are in the sea and all of that. I said, this is a scammer. I know you are desperate to settle down. Wait on the Lord. And she disappeared. She disappeared until the man ruined her. And she remembered. 
from what I told her. Now, the man have room, have collected everything. The man was not even the person on the profile. The person was another person profile they were just using. Now the man have collected the money. Even if she changed, she repented, she asked God, God has forgiven. All the money is gone. You see? So these are the things that would have been avoided. I was still able to encourage her, come to prayer. God loves you. You will still bounce back work. I don't know, maybe because of shame or because of, I don't know, she disappeared. You understand? So sometimes, God, what I'm trying to say is that God always sends us. There is no one above mistakes. It can happen to anyone. But when God is warning you, listen. Listen and take a step out from that danger. This is somebody God does not want you to settle for less. Let me just settle in the name of settling case. Oh, my friends are settled. My brother, everybody is settled. I must be settled. If you must be settled, take it in a violent prayer. I must be settled in the name of Jesus. I must be settled in my home. I must be settled in my marriage. I must be settled in that place where God said I should be settled in. It must manifest. Take it in Holy Ghost anger prayer. Not in the other way. Child of God, this is a warning. You already know that sometimes you make decisions, you start regretting. Don't do it. If it is outside the will of God, don't do it. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11, it says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare, well, well, welfare, not warfare, welfare, hallelujah, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. God has a plan to settle you into a beautiful future and a hope. Please, don't settle for anything that you know that God have not assigned. It can only bring pain, tears, sorrow, unhappiness. If we have listened to the voice of God, there will not have been as numerous broken homes that we have on this earth today. Because when God is warning people, they, are, they listen to their flesh more than they listen to God. And along the road, you see that the home is broken. Why? Because when God was giving warning, we refused to listen to that side of it. Anyone can be on that position, in that position, but God don't want you to make a mistake that you cannot recover from. If it is not the will of God, don't settle for less. I pray the Lord will help you. The plan of the Lord for you is of good, not of evil. And that good plan of God for you will manifest in the name of Jesus. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.